What's up everyone, it's Ryan here from Green Tech Network. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to remove and replace a hard drive in the HP Touch Smart 11. To do this, I recommend that you have a small Phillips head screwdriver, which you see here, and then also have a small flat head screwdriver, which you see here as well. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your laptop is fully shut down. So make sure it's not just you know hibernated or anything like that, but full shutdown because the first thing we're going to be doing is taking the battery out. So the battery has, this one on the right here is a lock. So you want to see where you see the, uh, or slot it, excuse me, to where you see where it says unlocked. So if you're holding it this way, it's pushed towards the right. And turn it on this way again. So this is a little, uh, just a springy latch. So you press that in and then pull this out with your fingernails. And then that's just the battery just pops out. Might look battery might look a little bit different if you have one of the extended ones. So for the next part, this is where you're going to need the small flathead screwdriver. Basically, if you look here around the laptop, there's a plastic seam that runs all the way around here, and it's this whole portion of the laptop. And you're basically just going to pry up that plastic piece, and then it just pops right off and gives you access to the laptop. So I went ahead and started mine a little bit before I made the video, just so it's a little bit easier, so I don't have to do um, a whole lot of prying. But it was pretty hard to get off the first time. I recommend starting in one of the corners and then kind of prying up and then working your way around down here and then starting on the other corner and working your way around down to around here. So then this just pops off just the plastic cover. So this is where we see the hard drive right here. Uh, this is like a little, I guess, a shielding of some sort for electromagnetic waves. And so you can see this is the CPU fan and the RAM as well, and that's the little Wi-Fi uh, card. So you're going to want to take your Phillips screwdriver, and there's going to be four screws here, 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 and here. Um, I lost this screw last time I changed the hard drive, so I only have three. But you should have four. So you're going to go ahead and unscrew all four of these screws and make sure you don't lose them like I did. There we go. And then, just put them right there. And then there's a little tab here. You can pull it up with this. And then there's this cable kind of harness thing. So you just grab it right by the, uh, the black piece there and just pull it off. And that's what connects the hard drive to your laptop. So here's the hard drive. This is an old 320 gig one. So there's four screws here, 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 and here. So you want to go ahead and undo these. These screws are a little bit thicker than the other four previous screws you just took off. So make sure you keep them separate from the other ones as they, uh, they won't fit in the other holes since they're a little bit thicker. And the small ones will just fall out if you try to put them in these ones, which you have, trust me, you don't want a loose screw rolling around inside your laptop while you're trying to use it. So it can short things out. So here's the old hard drive. If it's faulty, you know, get rid of it or whatever. And then so you want to keep this. It looks like just some scrap stuff, but you want to, this is like the little case that keeps the hard drive there. So after you do that, um, keep your screws safe and go ahead and get out your other hard drive and get it ready to install in this little um, metal aluminum thing. Okay, so I got my hard drive here ready to install it. You're going to want to make sure that you have the connectors lined up. So let me zoom in a little bit here and tilt the camera down. So if you look at this, you want to make sure that the connectors are going to line up. So you want the ones with the at least smaller amount of pins to the left and the ones with the more amount of pins to the right. So if you look at that, it's going to match up this way. So let me go ahead and zoom back out. So you're going to want to orient the hard drive so that it connects that way and then just place this right on top like that. And then you're going to want to use the fat screws, which are the ones that are a little bit thicker on the bottom than the other screws. And go ahead and put these all back in with your Phillips screwdriver. And 
Okay, so now you have the hard drive in the little hard drive holder and you're going to want to connect it to the cable there and then go ahead and drop it in. So there are underneath the hard drive some little foam pad things. Um, your hard drive should fit even with these. Um, some hard drives tend to be just a little bit thicker than other ones so you might need to take these out because on the back of the plastic there's also more foam pads so they kind of add up if your hard drive is a little bit thicker and it can kind of make the back plastic bubble out a little bit right here. But this, this uh, solid state is pretty thin so I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then you're going to use your four little screws which I only have three since I lost the other one like I said and go ahead and screw the hard drive back into the laptop. And, oh, look, I actually found it. So, I do have four. All right, perfect. Okay, so, once you do that, you're gonna wanna take your rear plastic piece again, make sure you have it properly oriented like this. So it kind of pops in with these pieces down here first, so you just kinda slide that in a little bit and you keep it pushed that way and then just go around the edges and press in and you'll hear them click when the little plastic latches latch on to the interior and then there's some little latches right here in the center too so you just kind of push it down a bit in the center and make sure all the latches catch and then you should notice that the plastic's pretty much sealed again and then obviously you just want to pop the battery back in, just match it up on the rails, pull it in, and then relock it on the left there. So that concludes how to change the hard drive in your HP TouchSmart 11. Feel free to ask me if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.